It's Whitney Nicely, and I just put a post up on my personal Facebook page that said, Attention Agents, if you could turn every listing agreement into a purchase and sale contract, every listing appointment into a purchase and sale contract, would you do it? So I want to ask you that. So agents are in the business of getting leads and going on listing appointments and going through all this rat race of all these things and ah! and we all know that to go from a listing appointment to the purchase and sale contract agreement whatever you want to call it that could take you know in a hot market that could take a couple hours but in a regular market that could take a couple days couple weeks couple months even a couple of years, right? I and mean, we, we all know people that have had their houses on the market for years before somebody came through to swoop it up and buy it, right? So if we could cut all that fluff out and we could go straight from the listing appointment to a purchase and sale contract, would you do it? Because I teach my students three ways that they can do that okay you get an appointment with a seller you better have a purchase and sell contract in your car you, if you're an agent and you want to take a listing contract that's fine uh, when I was still doing regular real estate stuff because I am a broker for Whitney buys houses when I was still doing regular real estate stuff I would carry a purchase and sell contract I would carry a lease option contract, I would carry an owner financing contract, and I would carry a listing agreement. And I would make all four offers every single time that I sat down to look at a seller's house. Okay? You've already taken time out of your day, they've taken time out of their day, they're looking for a quick solution, you want to be a real estate investor. So why not turn your listing appointment into a purchase and sale? And I mean, you can go ahead and you can make them a cash offer. You can make them a five-year lease option offer. You can make them, if it's free and clear, you can make an owner financing offer. You could make a 10-year lease, lease option offer. And, you know, finally, if you don't like any of those offers, Mr. Seller, I'll list it, but then you're going to have to pay me a commission. So what do you want to do? Do you want to take my cash offer? Do you want to take my lease option for five years or my lease option for ten years? Or do you want me to list it? Because every time you sit down with a seller, you have the opportunity to make three offers on a property. Worst case scenario, you list it. And I'll tell y'all, my listing contract got so ratty and tattered, I quit taking the thing. I didn't even make it an option. If I'm going to look at a house, I'm going to buy it, baby. I don't want to list it. I don't want to wait. I don't want to deal with another agent and their crap and their buyer's crap and, you know, what might happen in the meantime. I don't want to do it. I'm a control freak. <laughs> I want to buy houses. So, I go out and I buy houses. I take... Uh, purchase a sale contract, and I take a lease option contract with me. And if the seller says yes, no, or maybe, I go ahead and fill it out, leave it with them. And I put a, uh, you know, mm, must be back to me by noon tomorrow or within 24 hours or whatever that thing's called to make sure they don't keep it for six months and then sign it and send it back. So... It's up to you, though. Do you want to go on listing appointments or do you want to go on purchase and sell appointments? Because I'll teach you how to go ahead and look at a house, go ahead and have a formula figured out so that you know what a cash offer is, you know how much money you're going to make on it, you know why it's a good deal, you know if you want to do a lease option on it or if you want to turn it into a regular rental or if you're going to fix and flip it, you will know that. Uh, the second thing that I'll teach you is, you know, how to come up with a lease option agreement, whether they've got a mortgage on the property or not, so that you can go ahead 
and be sitting down with the seller and say, you know what, forget this listing agreement. Let's go ahead and decide what the purchase price is and let's go ahead and decide when we're going to close. And y'all, that is powerful. Going on a listing appointment and already knowing when you're going to close and already having all the negotiation and the anxiety out of the way. Hello, sign me up. That's the stressful part about real estate is going back and forth and doing all those negotiations and figuring it all out. If you can go ahead and, you know, pop their bubble in the beginning or go ahead and make them an offer on terms that fits their pain, then don't fool with listing it and dragging other people in the middle of this situation. If you are an agent, you need to have a personal interest and disclosure signed, but you know, as long as they know you're an agent, they know you're making money, they know you want to be a real estate investor, and you're solving their problems, I don't see any problem with it. As a real estate agent, you're in the business of solving people's problems. It just so happens that you have a couple problems yourself that you need solved. One is you don't have enough money that you think of to start buying houses. Two, you don't want to go to the banks because eventually they're going to say, no, you can't buy anymore. And three, you make more money by buying houses than you do by collecting commissions. <laughs> Those are your problems. So if you find a seller that wants to do a lease option or a seller that wants to do owner financing or a seller that'll take, you know, 40, 50 cents on the dollar for their house and you can agree to buy it in 40 or 60 days, seven days, start making payments in 90 days, whatever it is you need to do, help people. Help people and you'll never run out of opportunities. Let me know if you got any questions. Send me a message. Uh, find me on Facebook. Find me on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Winnie Buys Houses. Get a hold of me. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want to book a call and figure out how I can teach you how to do this, like boom, 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 go to start.whitneynicely.com. Book a call. Start.whitneynicely.com. Bye, y'all.